So welcome guys, we're going to talk about compressibility factor which is commonly expressed as C and what is this? Essentially just a correction to the ideal gas formula uh, As you can see here, if I were to calculate C equals 1 then I will reduce this to this equation which is exactly the ideal gas law and the only detail here is that C is going to need a little bit of data from experimental data. You may not be able to calculate C theoretically, you will always need to check out the theory. But the good thing is that it's already in textbook, so it's not that, let's say, complex to do. Uh, I like to call C, or the compressibility factor, as a correction factor in percentage. So, for example, you have I don't know, if this gas deviates 10% more than that of normal gases, then you just add 1.1 to the C value and you're going to get that 10% that you were talking about. Or if you were to tell that this C value is about 1.0 value or even 0 0.99 value, I will tell you that this is a deviation of 1% with respect of the ideal gas. So that's what I think is awesome from this C value is pretty versatile, the dynamic, you can use it and it makes a lot of sense, at least uh, it, it's better than all those equations of states and it's easier to use all the way. So once again C, it's calculated experimentally by this real specific volume versus the ideal one. So I don't want to mix you a lot, let's do an actual exercise. Let's see, 50 cubic meters per hour, so they tell you a volumetric flow, of methane flow through a pipeline of this pressure and this temperature. They tell you go and find out C value from this book, which you don't need to, I already got it, it's 0.934, to estimate the mass flow rate of that uh, flow. So guys, let's use the equation PV equals NRT times DC value or probably you saw a specific volume, whatever you want to use. I prefer the first one, but this is very common to see as well. And since we are calculating mass flow, let me check out how many moles. Actually, you're going to see that you have pressure, yes. Do you have volume, yes. Do you have C value, yes. Do you have R, it's a constant. Do you have T, yes, you have. So actually, we just need to find out for the pressure and it's pretty important because you're going to see that this factor is the correction factor. Actually, it's 93% under that value, so you're going to get more moles in this case. So yeah, you got 85.9 and we want that to change it to mass, so just multiply by the molecular weight of methane, which is 16 kilograms per kilo, and you get 13 or 1,370 kilograms per hour and yeah if you probably would use ideal gas law you will have 7% less of this value which I'm not telling you is wrong I'm just telling you that this will be more uh, approximate to the real value What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other.
Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.